In this lesson, I'll show you how easy it is to draw a four-point rosette using the pattern wizard. We've set up our screen the way I showed you last time. We've set our grid dimensions to a five millimeter grid in draft view. I've also changed my line width to 0.5. And now we're ready to draw. To start with, choose your draw ellipse tool, hold down the control key, click, and drag a circle. Next, let's center that circle on our screen. That lines it up with both the zero axis on top and on the left as well. Let's draw some dividing lines from the top to the bottom and from left to right. Now we know where the center of the rosette is. To draw the four point rosette, click your draw arc tool. Click on the top, the center, and double click on the left. Again, top, center, double click on the right, and repeat this four times. There's our four point rosette. Well, we can jazz it up a little bit by doing some things to each of the petals and the space in the background here. Next, choose your draw curve tool. I want to start this curve on the bisecting line that divides the shape in half, which is right there. Click once and click several times to draw your curve. Next, double click on the curve to select it and use Control D. We'll create a duplicate of that image. Drag it off of your space create a mirror image, and rotate it 90 degrees. Now we can drag it into place for the other side. We can also add a shape in here if we like. How about a diamond? I'll start right there. And draw a diamond. If this chip is too large for your comfort level in your chip carving, we can divide it in half. Again, go right across the diagonals with your line and double click. I think I'd like to do something different with each of the petals. To do that, I'm going to remove these dividing lines and I'm going to rotate the circle 45 degrees, and I'll show you why in just a moment. I want to create a square in the center here to make this into a gothic shape kind of petal. Choose your draw rectangle tool and find the center point of this arc, which is right there. Now I can click and drag a square to split that shape. I'm going to add some flip-flop lines in here. And then I'll rotate it 45 degrees. All that's left is to duplicate this in the remaining three quadrants. To do that, first I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see more clearly. Hold down your shift key as you select the various items in the shape you want to duplicate. Hit Control D and drag it out of the way. Now I'll hit Control D once again, drag it into position right there. I'll hit this one, Control D again, and drag it into position here. And one more time, I don't need to duplicate it, I'll just use it for my last place, which is right there. Finally, we need to duplicate this, so I'll double click on that arc, hold down my Shift key, double click, and click on each of the segments that I need to duplicate. 
Control D, drag it out of the way, and we need to rotate it 90 degrees. Now before I drag it into position, I'm going to duplicate it once more. Now I can drag it into position, and I have another one, the previous one I can use again right here. Rotate. Select, rotate 90 degrees, duplicate, and drag it into position. And finally, this last one we can select, rotate 90, and drag it into position. And there you have it, a four-point rosette using the pattern wizard. In our next lesson, I'll show you how to create a border around an object. So stay tuned. Always remember, introduce a kid to chip carving.